In the last episode, we started styling our shopping cart, but we didn't complete because we didn't uh, correctly design our items. And I want to do that in this particular episode. So all I'll do is that I'll be creating a new component called item content that we'll use to display the item content by including it here. So I'll come back right here. I'll create a new file inside our cart and I can call it item content dot tsx I hit enter status functional component and I'll say item content and here we will be having our item design so I'll save and then I'll come back right here and instead of passing a div we'll be passing that item content so I will remove that and we say item content it will be self closing and right here it expects us to pass a key and the key will be item dot id and then it also expects us to have an item actually it doesn't know we should because we haven't defined the uh, type sold interface but let's pass it anyways so we pass item as item i save let's come back to item content and before we proceed we'll define an interface for this one so we'll say interface uh, will be equal to item content props and here we'll have an item of type cut product type so we make sure to import this one and then we pass this right here using react.fc and angle brackets and here we pass our item content props we destructure the item from here and now we can use this item to show uh, the different properties let's also mark this component as a client component so i make use of use client for this div we can say class name and we will be using grid to display it in different sections like we did for this uh, title or heading right there so let's do this and i'll say grid we'll say grid hyphen calls hyphen five we show five columns then text hyphen xs this means extra small then md the text will be small small is bigger than x small then gap here will be four then we can have a border a custom one of 1.5 px and here we'll set the border to be uh, straight 200 let's make sure that this border is at the top so here include hyphen t hyphen and padding along the y-axis of four so that we have some good spacing and items will be at the center now we come in here uh, we will have a div here so this div we will show these item details so we'll have the image we'll have all these smartwatch black and whatever and then the next div is done that will show the price this one and then we'll have another div for quantity so here we'll have another div and finally another div for total like that okay uh, we had created a, a function that helps us show the price from components products product card we can see where we displayed the price uh, we use this format price then we passed data dot price so i'll copy from here and that is what i'll show for price here but now instead of data dot price we will show item dot price we make sure to import this format price at the top like this so i used control space to get that suggestion for import awesome so i save this file and let's see what we have and there we go we have this 40 dollars awesome and for this we'll have a class name let's include it like this we'll have call span of two so that it occupies two of the columns we'll have justify self to the start we'll flex the items we'll add a gap of two and then md i'll say gap 
of four. Uh, make sure not to leave the spacing here, awesome. So right here, we'll have two parts. We'll have the image part and the content part. And we'll make both the image here and this title here to be clickable. So that when you click on it, it takes you to more details about that product. So let's come here and we'll have a link. It expects to have a href. We will use some backticks. So we'll set it to be equal to some backticks. We'll have product stroke and we read the ID of the product right here uh, from item.id and that will make it to be dynamic. And in here, we can pass a div. So this is complaining, we should import it. So import it from next link like this. And now we have this one as the first element. The second element will be a div. And for this div will be for this content right here. We can add a class name here and we'll display flex. And then we'll have flex hyphen column and we'll justify between. And then in here is where we'll be having the different properties for the product. So that includes the name and we will wrap the name with the link component. So this expects to have a href which will be similar to this one. So I can copy that one, paste it on the first one. And in here, we will show the name that is truncated. We had created the truncate text helper method. So truncate uh, text right here. We invoke it and we pass our item dot name like that. Now, if I save, we should be seeing this item dot name from here. And we have the name there. Awesome. We come down here. We have a div here. These will show the color of the image. These will be available in item dot selected image dot color. I save and that should show the color. Okay, awesome. And then down here, we'll have a button to remove an item from cut. So I'll add another div. We will have a class name. And for this class name, we'll have a width of uh, 70 px. So this is custom. Let's make sure we wrap it with the square brackets like that. And then in here, we can show our button. So I'll add a button here. We'll say remove. We can add some styles here. I'll say class name. We'll have a text of straight hyphen 500 and we'll have it underlined. And now here we have this remove and it is underlined. So we'll also be having an on click event. So on click and for this on click for now, we will pass an empty function later on. We will work on it. Actually, we'll be working on that on the next episode. How to remove an item from cart. Awesome. So we didn't complete this one here. It is still empty here. So let's complete that one. We will be having an image component. Remember to import it from next image. And here SLC will be uh, item dot selected img dot image. It expects us to have other properties like alt item dot name. And then we can have fill and we can have a class name that says object contain. Uh, I save. It will show a very large image. So we should add some class name to this div here. And we'll display relative and we'll make it to have a max width of 70 px. These will be custom. We'll have an aspect of square aspect ratio I save. And now this should be fixed. There we go. We have a small image and we have this here. Awesome. I feel like we are missing something. So this should be called span, not calls. So I save so that it occupy two columns right here like that. Awesome. Now let's go to this price. I think there is an issue there. We should add a class name and we will justify self to the center. So justify self to the center. 
I save and now this should be pushed right here like that awesome now we are at the quantity also for this one we'll have this class name so I can copy that and paste it here like that uh, for this one we'll have a similar class name but now this will say justify to the end and also we'll make the total price to be font uh, semi bold okay now let's come back to this one and show the quantity and we had area created a component called set quantity so here we will use that component set quantity so i click on this one it will have uh, several props so the first one will be cut counter and we'll set this one to be true actually if we just pass it uh, by default it will be true but you can also specify like this uh, we will have our cut product and we'll pass as the item it expects us to pass handle uh, increase for now we can pass an empty function like this and also it expects handle decrease so handle decrease and for now we will pass this function is empty like that i save and look now we have this it's showing the quantity here but increase and decrease are not working we'll work on that logic uh, later on let's show the total i'll include the curry brackets and i'll take the item price so i can include in this bracket i can say item dot price and i will multiply this with the item dot quantity i can use this format price right here so i can say format price and let's save and see what we have and there we go we have 80 so for a single item it's 40 but because we have two of them we multiply this and this and we get 80. for this subtotal we'll calculate it later on uh, but for now i can see that our design for a single item has uh, come along and when i expand we have it like that now in the next episode let's see how we can remove an item from cut